Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Uh, I'm here to present another video on Apache Storm. This is just a continuation of the previous video where I have introduced the Trident. Today I'll be teaching you that how one can uh, build a basic Trident topology. Okay, so like uh, for that reason uh, I have uh, made this video in which I'll be helping you uh, in uh, creating and building the topology using Eclipse IDE. So let's start with this. First, we have uh, some uh, uh, some recall of the previous topic. Uh, as I've already have uh, discussed in a previous video, that Trident is nothing but just a basic abstraction of the traditional Storm. Uh, the thing is, uh, like uh, it abstracts away all the details from you. Like you don't you don't have to bother about the spouts, bolts, topology, grouping. Right, uh, everything will be done by the Trident. Right. So you can see in this case that we have a stream of tuples coming to the stream processing app. On this stream processing app, the Trident will set up a function object and it will operate on a streams, right? So uh, what the Trident will do in a Trident uh, will just set up a function object, okay? And that function, uh, that will operate on the stream. So this P7, P6, P5, nothing but a data stream, which is coming from some, some particular source. And we have a, some stream processing app on uh, like uh, using Trident will be applying some function object. So let me uh, like uh, make it more clear, right? So, uh, is again a, a like a, a simple the recall of the previous video that Trident uh, where we use the basic abstraction which is the stream and stream is nothing but collection of a tuples which I've already specified. Okay, this is what I was talking about earlier that um, the Trident will uh, will make use of a function objects to operate on a stream, right? So like uh, whatever the uh, uh, stream we are having, right? On that stream we need to apply a function object, right? Which will be applied by the Trident. So uh, in th in the implementation part, you only be requiring two classes. One class will correspond to the function object, and other class will correspond to the Trident topology. So in earlier cases, what we were doing that we were creating three classes: spout, bolt, and topology. Now we'll be just creating a two classes. One is a function object, which will be uh, which will be used or which uh, which will uh, apply the operation on the particular stream, and then we are having the Trident topology, right? Okay, so like this I want to now discuss in more detail like uh, like as I've already said that Trident basically allows you to the set up a function object that will operate on a stream. So you'll set up a function object and apply to each particular tuple. So each is nothing but an operation here, right? The this each operation when you have a stream consisting of a series of tuples, then each operation will take a function object and apply it to each of the tuples, right? So what we'll do, like we'll, uh, this Trident will apply a function on each tuple using the each operation and you, uh, like uh, it will emit a new tuples, right? This is the basically a, a methodology that we follow. Okay, so like uh, uh, the most general, the way we can implement the Trident topology by using that each operation. When you have a stream consisting of a series of tuples, right? Then each operation will take up a function object that we will define right in the eclipse ide will take up a function object and apply to the each of the tuples right okay so this is nothing but the uh, like over oh, just a general overview that what is this trident topology is all about now let me take you straight away to the code that how we can implement the same as i've already have mentioned that uh, um, like we only be requiring two classes one class correspond to that uh, function object uh, the function object uh, in this case the class name is try1 which we are passing in the uh, try to here, right? So we only require two things. One is uh, setting up a function object. Another one is uh, like uh, we have a Trident topology. So let me discuss that line by line uh, all the uh, code which I have written here, right? Okay, so the first thing that you must be seeing here is this. To set up a function in a Trident, you need to use a base function class. Like in the previous cases, we were using base rich spout or base basic bolt. Now we are using base function. Okay, so to, to set up a function in a Trident, you need to remember that you need to use a base function class. Within the base function class, you need to use the execute method, right? This one. Okay, like in a in a spout also, like or in the bold case also, we were using uh, execute method. So it is having a, a like so, somewhat the same role, right? Like doing some some operation or doing some transformation, right? Okay, so you need to use the execute method. This method will take a next. They will take a input tuple. You can see here input tuple right process it and emit some new tuples process it and emit a new tuple uh, using the provided collector this is the collector we have right so what we'll be doing what's the objective of this little practical that we will be generating a, a set of string from here 
this one word one word two word three and we'll be appending the after processing uh, to it so this function object will do only one thing it will just append this string to the end of the word one word two word three which will be emptied by the uh, by from from the try to class right so this is the uh, meaning of this function object I hope now it is clear so let me summarize it again so to set up a function in trident you need to use a base function the first thing within the base function you, you need to use the execute method this one execute method uh, this method will take a input tuple which I have specified and process it and emit a new tuple and using the provided collector so this is the just a uh, uh, the the uh, information about the function object I hope it is fine so this is all about the first class that we have made right in the second class we have a main logic so you must be wondering here that there's nothing available it's quite a simple topology we have created here and there is no presence of spout there is no presence of board this is the advantage that we get with the trident right so let me start with the first thing so the topology will act like a you, the first line is this one local drpc drpc equal to new local drpc the meaning is that topology will act as a drpc topology there will be a client which is going to make a distributed remote procedure call to the topology so the topology will apply a function and return a result so what we'll be doing here will be uh, uh, will be setting up a local drpc client to represent our D drpc client and drpc need the topology where it can send its input and topology will apply a function so here we are nothing we are doing what nothing is that the the topology which will be uh, created in the next line so the uh, topology will act like a drpc topology so there will be a client which is going to make a drpc distributed uh, remote procedure call to a topology so what we'll be doing we'll be setting up a local uh, kind of a client server stuff right in which the client which is going to make the distributed remote procedure call to the topology and topology will then in a return the topology will apply a function and return to return a result to the client okay so this is the meaning right so we'll be setting up a local drpc client to represent our drpc client so local drpc needs a topology okay so local drpc need a, a topology where it can send its input and a topology will apply a function the simple concept so in the client will will make a rpc call to the topology and topology will apply a function and uh, res, uh, return the result back to the client this is a, a simple logic right so in this case after setting up this drp uh, drpc client next thing what we are doing is we are just setting up a topology but this time it will be a trident topology in the previous cases when we were creating the uh, topology it was a, a normal topology using the topology builder but here we are using the trident topology right so you can now set up a, a first uh, stream object by using a topology and specifying input stream as a uh, drpc stream it is done using the new drpc stream then the given name followed by the name of local drpc so the first thing we are now uh, specifying here the third line i hope the first two lines are clear uh, first we are setting up the uh, uh, drpc client then we are just setting up the trident topology in third line what we are doing is we can set up a first stream object by using a topology right which we are using here using a topology and specifying input stream as a drpc stream right so it is done using the new drpc stream which we have written here new drpc stream then uh, the first thing is nothing but a name of the function okay which we have created here and the second argument it is a name of the local drpc which, which we have made in the first line right i hope it is fine so it is taking two arguments name of the function and this is nothing but the uh, uh, the name of the local drpc right okay so uh, the topology dot new drpc will create a new data stream which is input to our topology on this uh, drpc uh, stream you can uh, apply operation to create a new data stream so in this case what we are doing is after this we are applying a each operation which is having a th three arguments first argument is this one second is this one and third is this one so we have a three arguments so okay so the topology dot new drpc right will create a new data stream which is input uh, which is input to the our topology on this data stream we can apply an operation to create a new data stream each operation 
once once applied on a new trpc stream will give you a new data data stream within a uh, each operation the first input is the set of fields the first input we having a set of fields right uh uh whenever you are using the drpc input set the fields of a tuple will always be a single field called args so it is nothing but a kind of a schema okay we are specifying the fields of a input tuple right so like uh, as i've already have mentioned the set of fields of input tuple whenever you are using a drpc input so this is a kind of a drpc input set the fields of a tuple okay as a single field called args so it will be always be the args right this is nothing but us just kind of a schema of the input tuple the second argument is we are applying our function object we are passing the function object that we have created in the try one class and the third argument is of the each operation is the set of fields of a output tuple so this was the set of fields of input tuple this is a set of fields of a output tuple so we are again creating a kind of a schema here okay which we are uh, specifying here so i hope it is fine this is our main uh, the main thing which was which was new to, new to you because re, uh, in a in a previous cases we uh, we were using set spout set uh, set bold and we are specifying grouping shuffle grouping and this and that but here nothing is available right okay so we are done with this the next thing is we are now setting up a configuration okay and then we are initi initiating the nothing but a local cluster it's the same thing that we have uh, already have learned in the previous cases now at the last uh, we are submitting a topology to a local cluster so having a same syntax no change at all at the last line what we are doing is then we can take a array of strings and execute a function you can see here we are we are taking a array of uh, strings which is word 1 word 2 word 3 and uh, then uh, then we are having which is which is uh, then we going to execute a function using a drpc client on those string right you can see it here okay so this uh, and finally we are shutting down the cluster i hope it is fine right so i'm just summarizing it again first we are having because first we are the client will make up a drpc call to the topology topology will apply a function and return the result back to the client then we are setting up the trident topology okay and then uh, this uh, topology dot new drpc stream will create a new drpc stream which is input to our topology right it will take two arguments the first argument is name of the uh, function and then is the name of the local drpc on which we are applying the each operation each is nothing but operation here which take three arguments the first argument is the nothing but the uh, uh, fields of input tuple and always remember that we always set the uh, fields of a tuple as a single field called args then we are passing our function object here and then we are specifying the uh, third argument as the fields of the output tuple then we are setting up the configuration okay then this this line is nothing but correspond to that if we want to print the uh, um, uh, emit the tuples on the console or on the log then we can use set debug true then we are uh, like um, um, uh, we are having the um, uh, initiating a local cluster and then we are submitting topology and here we are doing nothing but uh, we are taking a array of strings and we are executing a function using a drpc client at the last Uh, this string will be part of the input stream which goes to the topology this one right and last we are shutting down the cluster and to execute this uh, i already have executed on my terminal you know that uh, first of all we need to uh, get the jar out of it after getting a jar out of it then we need to run the uh, command which i can show you here the command was this one strom space jar space jar file name this was this is uh, what i've created from there then this is nothing but a name of the package new trident and this is nothing but a name of the main class which is try2 when you run this then you'll be getting a answer okay you'll be getting the you'll be getting word1 after processing word2 after processing and word3 after processing so let me take you to the uh, to this uh, where we get the result you can see it here this one you can see word1 it was the uh, send it uh, send it by us then it was appended afterwards word 1 after processing similarly you can see it here as well uh the next one here right word 2 word 2 after processing in this way we'll getting the third answer also word 3 word 3 after processing so this is the objective of our today's uh, this video i hope you must have understood 
I hope I have made myself clear in this case that how to set up a basic topology using Eclipse IDE. Still, if you need any help whatsoever, if you're facing some uh, error, just let me know. Thanks for watching. See you next video.